Hey folks, this is Johnny. Welcome to another Home Studio Trainer Show. And today for Studio One Pro 7, we're going to take a look at the detachable browser. This should be a click one, uh, a quick one, <laughs> and a click one if you click on it. Um, so you can see over here, I have the browser open. I have the ability to take the browser and stretch it. And there's a reason I'm showing you the stretchy part. But the cool thing is, I can now detach it. Watch this. Bang! Look at that. And if you select the uh, loops tab, you can go through, just like normal, and uh, go through your style, your instrument, and the character. But here is another cool feature. Let me choose the organ. If I stretch out the browser when it's detached, I have what Personas is calling an extended list view. So now, if I go out like this, I can now see the different loops that I have available. And a lot of the, most of these are from sound sets and things that you can download from the uh, Studio One or from the Persona site. And. Just like that, I can select one and I can play it. <laughs> so cool. So if you've got three monitors, I've been actually thinking on getting like a third monitor off to my uh, left here. Uh, I got the two that are here in front. You guys can see in front of my fader board. I got my two monitors here, but just a third one where I can put stuff like this, especially the browser. Uh, if I'm going to start working with some loops, I can also work with the splice loops. All of those that are available. I'll be doing a video on this very soon. And I can go ahead and choose drums. And I can stretch these out. You see a nice extended version of everything that's here. See what these sound like. Pretty cool. All right, so, and uh, when I actually do the Splice video, just keep in mind that Splice isn't completely free, although it does come with a bunch of freebies that you can actually download and use and it doesn't go against your uh, subscription if you have a standing subscription to splice but i'll go into that in another video so this is really kind of nice to be able to do this and again if you just if you are if you just have two monitors this actually still works i think i can do on nearly a full screen on this and really go crazy with what I hear. I can select the different loops and I can actually adjust the volume. I can choose to actually sync it to the, to the tempo I have going and so on and so forth. And if I want, I can click it and go back. All right, so that is the detachable browser and a little bit of an extended view on those, especially when you're working with loops. I hope you guys got something out of this and I will see you all in the next video.